But UConn, UConn, UConn. Big 12 presidents don't want UConn because football is not very good. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Have they seen Vanderbilt football in the SEC? Do folks know what Rutgers football is in the, in, in the Big Ten? Do, uh, do you realize that there are awful football programs in every major conference? Do you realize that? You should if you don't. But this, and I'm going to wrap it up, the show about the Players Era Festival. But for now, UConn. Mike Anthony is a writer, covers UConn sports, UConn athletics for the Hearst Connecticut Media Group. Has some comments from head coach football head coach Jim Moore, but also UConn AD David Benedict. Now, tell me, after I go over these comments from the article from Mike Anthony, if you think David Benedict is serious about competing in football and wants to be competitive in football on a power four level. The title, as Big 12 expansion rumors boil, UConn pours NIL money into football because they're tired of being disrespected. Want to win in football and stay relevant as a nationally celebrated athletic program? Raise money. Spend, recruit, raise money, spend, recruit, repeat until one of these conference realignment rent cycles lands with the Huskies in a power conference, earning some 20 to $30 million more annually than it does today, and then double down on efforts again years into the future. The Huskies raised and spent about $100,000 last season to NIL efforts. That's minuscule. They know that. This season, the number is up tenfold to somewhere between one to $1.25 million. That is something Dave Benedict, UConn AD, was willing to discuss on the record. I'm going to talk about the Big 12 rumors on the record. Quote, we're going to double it, NIL, next year at least. We're going to pour gas on it. We're going to win in football. I'm tired of being disrespected as a brand nationally because of football. And I get it. But the difference as we sit here today is we have NIL and revenue sharing now. And before, when we were a BCS affiliate with the old Big East, we could recruit differently. When that went away, it really impacted this university in a way that is probably unique because of the location. There are very, very good recruits here, but there are a limited number, and they all go. If you look at the top 10 every year, there's one thing in common. All of them are going to power conferences. Whether NIL and revenue sharing will help us keep some of those kids will be determined but we can recruit in a totally different way in quote. I'll come back to this in the next slide in a second. Right there, those comments, a fan, alum, and alums should love to hear that aggressive, aggressiveness from their athletic director. In real talk, we're gonna raise money, we're gonna compete in football, and we're gonna win. You want your AD to talk like that. So what would be so bad about UConn joining the Big 12 for football if you have a, an AD who's serious about competing and winning in football? Make it make sense to me, Rex, Miss Wanda, these skills. Make it make sense to me. Do I want, the, hell yes, I want K UConn in the Big 12. Hell yes. Hell yes. All caps, hell yes. But my reasoning is different. And it's financial. But it's because of basketball. Because when UConn was in the same conference as Houston before, UConn made me money. And nice bits of money. Talking to Gino and the UConn women's players. That's on the women's side. So imagine what they would do now with Danny Hurley and the fellas on the men's side. 
So hell yes, I want UConn in the Big 12. So if your mark believes he can secure a big media deal for, for basketball only, I'd say go ahead and bring UConn in. Now there we get into some questions. But back to the slides. We have an unbelievable university. We have great facilities. We have great coaches. And we're going to start providing people with great opportunities in other ways. That's NIL. The reality of a year ago is there was no emphasis on it, it NIL. There wasn't a plan. It was still something that collectively everyone was trying to figure out the best approach with. Last year, we made a decision that this was something we had to get in the business of, and we quickly were able to organize and have people lead an effort that aggregated resources that put us in the very top echelon in the group of five. Your mark doesn't want UConn because he's a UConn fan or likes the color blue or something. He wants UConn because he believes the Huskies inclusion makes the conference more attractive for the next round of media rights negotiations. He wants the sport. He wants New York, New England. He has proven pretty sharp in this area. And then a quote from head coach, football head coach. That's the world of college athletics right now, Jim Moore. Right now, and it's changing every day. But you're so dependent on people having a passion for their university and a belief in their program. So as a coach, and as I told the players, it makes you feel responsible, more responsible to those men and women who have given money to this program and funded NIL opportunities for our players. It's become very much more like pro football, end quote. <clears throat> oh, yes. UConn left the AAC because they didn't fit the culture. Oh, yeah. That's basketball related. No question. The basketball folks <clears throat> outside of Coach Hurley, the media, probably Coach Oriema, <clears throat> excuse me, want, heck, the Connecticut Senator, Mr. Murphy, wants UConn to stay in the Big East. Sure. Understand that. Sure they do. I'm just telling you, read to you what the AD wants. As long as David Benedict is, is at UConn as AD, he is going to place a priority on football. Some folks think he's nuts, but he believes in football. He believes in, well, he sees that revenue that football generates, and that is a driving factor, obviously, behind it. But as long as he's in charge of athletics at UConn, he's going to try to get UConn in a powerful conference with football because of that money. Because of that, eventually, 30, 35, 40, 45, $50 million annually for their budget. And see, see it right there. Guess everything is money-based. That's right. From a logic standpoint, UConn Big 12 makes no sense. But logic left the train years ago. You don't care about the student assets. You don't care about all that. This is about money. D Skill says, I hope basketball can start to bring in more money with the next TV deals. I hope so. I agree. It would. We shall see. And of course, seven years, that's a long time from now. Who knows if there's going to be a Big 12 like, as it's currently constructed, if there's going to be an NTAA as currently constructed. Who knows? But what is the, what is the phrase? Scared money doesn't make any money. Scared money never made money. CA says, then doesn't mind UConn, just don't care for so many teams in one league. <laughs> that horse up the barn too. I don't either. I think 10 teams, 12 tops is the most for a conference because now we're getting into 18, some point 20 and 22. That's just two conferences matched together. That's that's all that is. I mean, that, that's, that's what it is. But the money is the driving force for all of this. 